Next up at 5 o'clock today, the Grand Rapids Police Department is asking for help finding a person of interest in the case of a woman shot and killed yesterday afternoon. News 8's Kyle Mitchell is live at police headquarters with the latest on this investigation. Kyle. Ryan and Sue, police are looking for Luis Fabian Bernal Sosa, who's considered armed and dangerous. Officers are searching for Luis Fabian Bernal Sosa, who goes by Fabian. He's a person of interest in the shooting and killing of 22-year-old Leah Gomez. Bernal Sosa drives a black extended cab Ford Ranger truck from the early 2000s with aftermarket rims and tires. He may have a Bernal landscape management sticker on the back. Police are also looking for two men who may have seen the shooting. Gomez was shot in a car around 3 yesterday afternoon in the parking lot of an apartment complex near Commerce Avenue and Wealthy Street in Grand Rapids. Police say a child was in the car at the time of the shooting but was not harmed. The family of the victim says she was a mother of a one-year-old girl who will be two in August. And Anne of Gomez described her niece as having a huge heart who always wanted to get people to laugh. She says Leah was a great mother to her daughter who needed 24-hour medical care. Court documents obtained by News 8 say Benal Sosa is the father of Gomez's child and they previously had had a relationship. He's accused of strangling her in July of last year for one to two minutes, causing her to lose consciousness. A judge issued a warrant in January after he failed to appear regarding the felony charges. Wyoming police declined to comment regarding why Bernal Sosa was never taken into custody. Chief Eric Winstrom spoke with News 8 yesterday, just hours after the shooting occurred. And the fact that she was um, shot in the presence of a child, I'm obviously angry about it, I'm, uh, I'm upset about it, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to quickly bring justice for this woman. If you know where the person of interest might be, contact police or Silent Observer. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.